Today on Performance TV, Kathy and Joe check out some speakers that can handle any terrain. Joe shows us a new product that will make alignment quick and easy. We take a look at a saw blade that's a cut above the rest in all applications. We give those leaky hoses the clamps, show you how to de-rust larger items, and hitch up a trailer. Welcome to this week's Performance TV. You know, ATVs and side-by-sides are becoming so much more popular and the list of items that are available to add to them, well, that's growing as well. And Tim, I'll tell you what, with Wet Sounds, you've got something I am really excited about today because we need our tunes when we're out playing around on the trails. You've got to have tunes. It's one of the most important things. So at Wet Sounds, we are a marine audio company and a power sports audio company. So we manufacture everything from marine speakers and amplifiers to a full line of products for our power sports. So this is our Stealth series of products and the Stealth series is a family of products from our all-in-one soundbar to our enclosed subwoofers that have everything from the amplifier to the subwoofer, wiring harness, everything built in. So it's a plug-and-play system. You know, and, and you take a look at this, I glance at it and I'm like, that, that's not a light bar. It's not a light bar. It, this is our soundbar. It's our, this is our Stealth 10 and this is our Ultra HD. This has a built-in Bluetooth, built-in amplifier, wow. and 10 drivers all built into an extrusion, which is a similar cosmetic as a light bar. And we have our aluminum grills, I mean, everything, so that way it's going to be sitting out in the elements. It's going to be running through water and mud flying everywhere. Yeah, we, we do a full IP67 rating on it, and we do a 500-hour UV, so it can run in salt, snow, sun exposure, water exposure, fully extruded aluminum, sealed gaskets. All the drivers are composite. They are marine drivers. That's all we do as marines. So uh, it, it's a, a perfect application for your UTVs, ATVs, the front of an ATV, the roof of your uh, roll cage on a, a UTV. We've got guys putting them in the beds of trucks for, <laughs> for like tailgate systems. Right. We've got some guys that are putting them in the front of their grill on their trucks. Instead of a light bar, they're doing a sound bar. So when they pull up to a, you know, a beach party, they got their tunes right there, right on the front of the truck. So really it, it, crazy on how many applications we find because a high performance, high output, all in one sound system. This is the first one on the market. We have seven patents on this product. Wow. So it was the first one. We, we really created a whole new category on this product because it didn't exist. Well, I tell you what, we've got our side-by-side -side back here and we want to go ahead and get one of these systems in and let's check in with Joe and get her installed. Thanks, Kathy. We're over here at the side-by-side, -side, and we're going to install the soundbar. Tim, get in over here and help us install this soundbar. Now, I'm going to disconnect the battery. Okay. We've already pre-installed the subwoofer. Tell us why it's so important to have your sounds out on the trail. Man, when you're out on the trail, you're riding with friends and family, you've got to have some music with you. Tunes, I mean, music's a spice of life, so you really have to have music with you. It really adds to that experience and the memories you're out there making on the trail. Now, this soundbar system looks very substantial. Must put out a lot of music. It's got a ton of output, and it's designed specifically for this application. So it's got a great full range sound and a real compact enclosure. And we just left it up here. Now, you have multiple mounting systems. Depending on your side by side, you're going to have to find out there is the standard system, and then there is the one we're using, the slide system. The slider bracket. Yeah, on the end, you'll see there's a a mount location for our L brackets. Now that works in some applications where you have a, a bar that you can mount to directly. This one has this gusset system, so we had to utilize our slider bracket, which gives us the ability to slide forward and mount to a, a smaller location or a more narrow bar. And it's just a couple of Allen screws and some teeth will hold it in place. You're out there on the trail. You guys have designed most of your stuff for marine applications, so trail riding not quite what you're getting out on the open water. Well, you'd be surprised how similar they are. You know, when you, whether you're on the water or on the trail, you've got uh, the environmental issues to deal with. You've got wind noise, uh, engine noise, uh, you've got rain, you've got dust, you've got sun, so UV exposure. So both our power sports line and our marine line are, are both rated for either application. We do sell uh, sound bars to the marine guys. Guys are putting the smaller version, the little brother to the Stealth 10, which is the Stealth 6, on center console fishing boats. So these are finding their ways in the marine market. Oh, wow. We want to make sure everything goes in perfectly, no cross-threading. 
You've got little teeth on here to keep everything in place. We're going to go ahead and crank it down. The subwoofer is already in. And this unit is Bluetooth, so we can actually pair it with our mobile device. Yeah, it's self-contained. It has the amplifier built in, Bluetooth built in, all the drivers. So it's a self-contained. It comes with the wiring harness. You just run that directly to the battery. Uh, similar to what we did with subwoofer already, we ran that directly to the battery. And you've got positive and negative. So you've got your red and you've got your black and two-wire hookup. We're going to take a little time, make sure the wiring harness is nice, reconnect the battery, and we'll be ready to rock and roll. You've even got a cool remote control for hands-free out on the trails. Yeah, it's a wireless remote, and it's RF, so you don't have to point it at the sound bar. It's got little straps you can strap to the steering wheel. For more information, check out the website, and we'll be back with more Performance TV. Performance TV is being brought to you by Alloy Gator. We're not reinventing the wheel, just protecting it. ZMAX, the one product for your engine, transmission, and fuel system. Spray 9, one product, nine uses. And by U-Pole, Raptor bed liner and protective coating. Welcome back to Performance TV. You know, we can't do all this great install without being able to hear the sound. So I already have my Bluetooth phone all paired up with our wet sounds. Thanks for doing all the work, Joe. And you know what? You can either control this with your phone or kind of like a steering wheel control like you would have in your vehicle. Be able to change tracks, front and back, keep playing that favorite song again, turn up the volume, turn it down, whatever you need to do, as well as being able to do it all right from the bar. This thing is freaking awesome. I love it. And Joe, what do you have for us next? Thanks, Kathy. Automotive alignment is a huge business and very important for many reasons. One, high performance. Two, of course, tire wear and the big money you spend on tires. But three, and most importantly, is safety. Your customers are looking at a mechanic for trust. Is their vehicle safe? Well, Tim and Jack are here from Pinnacle Automotive Systems. They have got a system that's going to save us time, money, and be better for the customer. Tim, tell us about your system. Well, we have a new 3D image in honor that does all four wheels. We're very fast, very easy, and very intuitive for the technician. Um, and one of the things that makes our unit fast is we're using four cameras. With the four cameras, we have an independent camera for each target. Um, and it's focused on each target. And when you do your rollback, we're videoing that rollback rather than snapping pictures at the end where you have to pause with the competitors out there. So it is dynamic. It's dynamic, it's, it's fluid. So you're gonna watch the arrows on the camera system up top and it's gonna tell you which direction to roll and when you've rolled far enough and then the roll back forward again and you've got alignment measurements. Let's do a rollback, let's try it out. Now these are infrareds, not LEDs, correct? Infrareds, correct. So any uh, outside light like sunlight or bright lights above the car won't interfere with the readings like it does on the competitors. We've got the red light. And then you roll it back forward. It says so green, roll back green. forward. You'll see the red, and then you can stop. Wow. Alignment reading's that fast. So now we know if something is wrong with the suspension, maybe there was an accident, and you're trying to decide exactly how deep you have to go into this car to repair it. A lot of time saved right there. That's correct. Now also, if you are in the alignment biz or want to be in the alignment biz, but you only have a four-post lift, your four-post four lift can become your alignment machine. That's correct. A lot of shops don't have room for a dedicated alignment rack. So, and plus the added expense. You know, you're going to spend upwards of sixteen, seventeen thousand dollars $17,000 for a dedicated alignment rack. With this system, if you have a four-post already in place, we can resurface the whole top of your four-post and convert it into an alignment rack. So you're saving time, you're saving money, you don't have to sub it out to another shop, and most importantly, to me at least, you're earning the trust of your customers. You're keeping them safe on the road. There could be something wrong with the suspension they don't know about, and we can find it with this machine. That's correct. And one of the key things that a lot of uh, customers that complain about that sub it out to other shops is when they get it back, the steering wheel is crooked. You won't have that with this, you know, because you're doing it yourself. 
Well, that is great, and obviously high performance is uh, very vital as well. So you've got your regular OEM settings, but from what I understand, this will remember high performance or custom settings for that road street track guy that comes into your shop. That's correct. If you've got a circle track car and you've got special specifications that you would like to align that car with, you can input them into the alignment machine and it'll save them. Now, why is it important that it uses infrared and not LED? Well, if you use just regular LED lights, other lights outside with bright lights or sunlight coming in the shop, if you have a shop that faces the east or the west, the morning or evening sun, that light can skew your readings or getting your readings. With infrared, you could be out in a bright sunlight and it's not going to affect the aligner. And you guys have an entire uh, customer service or technical support system that enables people at the shop to call you if they have any kind of an issue. That's correct. And it has a, what we like to call it's a black box, just like in an airplane. So it's always recording. So if you had a problem, we can go in there and analyze that data to figure out what's going on to cut down on the time that it would take to get you back up and running. Wow, that is tremendous. Alignment is just vital. Tires are incredibly expensive these days. Absolutely, and getting more expensive. High performance, Z-rated, like our 2000 Corvette right here. Next week on the show, we're going to do an actual alignment. Absolutely, be glad to do it. Show you just how fast and show you some of the extra measurements that you're going to be able to get, especially for a vehicle that's in a collision shop that's been wrecked. We do other measurements other than just the front suspension. We're going to measure the actual dimensions of the car. That is great. I'm looking forward to it. If you're a shop owner, this is definitely for you. If you want to get into the alignment biz, this could be a great step. For more, check out the web, and we'll be back with more performance television. This week's Gen Y Hitch towing tip. You know what, Carl? There is more than one type of hitch out on the market, and the one that we're talking about today, well, it's a torsion hitch, but I'm not really sure how it works. Well, Kathy, it, uh, a torsion hitch is actually, it, it's a suspension hitch. The components used to get the suspension is actually the same components as used for a torsion axles. And I know a lot of people are familiar with torsion axles, but it's never been incorporated into a hitch. It's going to help us with our ride in our vehicle. It's going to help the ride with whatever stuff that we happen to be hauling, whether it's a race car trailer or whatever else. But these things are going to be dealing with a lot of elements. Are they going to last a long time? Do they have any replaceable parts? Yes, we do. We have a lifetime warranty on all of our products as far as the actual hitch body and whatnot. But the rubber in itself has a 10-year warranty, and it's 100% replaceable. We can actually take them in and repack them with the rubber, and they would be good to go for another 10 years. Wow, and of course you've got it on the top and the bottom. It's really going to make a huge difference in your towing and just make everything so much better and safer going down the road on top of it. Exactly, and protects your truck, saves the cargo in your trailer, and definitely a much smoother ride. All right, and adjustable too, just like all of their other hitches. Find out what Gen Y Hitch can offer for you and your towing needs. Just go to their website at genyhitch.com. Performance TV coming to you from Borla Commerce Park. And just like that, sawblade.com, it was that easy, Chris, to use this bandsaw. I realize it's like racing time, it's time to do my fingernails, but do we really need a bandsaw for that? <laughs> You'd be surprised, bandsaws are used in just about every aspect of modern life. Oh, I'm telling you what, and sawblade.com, you are covering all different spectrums of what folks could need for a bandsaw. Yes, we do. We stock a large variety of bandsaw blades everywhere from cutting wood products to cutting metal. We, the saw blade width range goes from quarter inch all the way up to three and an eighth inch. Well, you know, bandsaws are not, and the blades, I should say, are not all created equal. And something that you folks have prided yourself in over the decades is creating industrial bandsaw blades. And now that is something that the home user can take advantage of that technology. That's correct. The company's roots are in the industrial uh, sector. So uh, if you flew on an airplane, you probably flew in on some steel that was processed by one of our products. 
uh, what we did was since we manufacture and we sell direct, we're able to take our product, sell it into the DIY professional market sure. and still maintain a low price, but more importantly, maintain very good customer service. That's right, from start to finish. Well, Chris, give us some ideas of all the different sizes of bandsaw blades that you guys make. Well, all blades are custom welded to custom requirements. So we can basically weld anything that a customer needs for any type of bandsaw machine. This particular blade here is 10 foot long by three quarter inch wide. But we can weld blades as wide as three and an eighth inch wide. And we weld them up to 45 foot uh, long. Well, you know, something that I've noticed, you know, you're flinging that blade around over there, but you didn't have to worry about cutting your hands, Chris. No, there's a plastic tooth protector that is applied uh, right after manufacturing. And this is actually twofold. The tooth protector protects it during shipping, the teeth, and it also is a big safety feature, so you can open it and close it without fear of cutting yourself. You know, the other thing I notice about uh, both blades that are sitting here on the table, they have numbers on them, and that's kind of like a lot number almost. We have the heat treat numbers, and we have the size and the thickness of the blade so we can track if there's any quality problems and in the future. And that goes right back to your customer service again. The customer experience is very important to us from manufacturing to final use. You know you talked about blades being up to 45 feet. You use a bandsaw to cut a car? Yeah, we cut a Subaru in half one time. Really? Yes, about 12 minutes the total cut time on the car. <laughs> wow, so whether you're using, you know, something in a, in a shop at home, say like our bandsaw that we have, here or you have a big application you guys have something to cover it all absolutely if you uh, have a Subaru you want to make in two pieces give us a call so if you're going to be using a, a bandsaw say like this at home what kind of materials are we able to cut with a bandsaw I mean do people really understand what a bandsaw is really for Bandsaws are used in just about every type of manufacturing one way or another. And you can cut just about anything with a bandsaw. Its primary function on this particular is for steel. But yet we uh, weld and manufacture blades for wood, for lumber, for plastic, for home building, to titanium. So sawblade.com pretty much has anything to cover your application. Just check out their website and we'll check out more of Performance TV right after this. Performance TV is being brought to you by Got a Show, proudly American made. Lizard Skin, spray your way to a cooler, quieter ride. Dual Liner, the only bid liner that works. And by Dustless Blasting, it's the future of surface preparation. On this week's Clamp Tight Close-Up, Kevin is going to show us how to take care of radiator hoses. Absolutely. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our wire. We're going to make a nice little loop just like that by bringing the ends together. We're going to feed our ends through our loop. And we're going to pull that tight. I always recommend going around twice to get a good seal on there. So we're going to do the same thing, feed our ends through, pull it tight again. You know, in the with the Clamp Tight tool, this is not only a very aesthetically nice looking clamp that the tool can make for you, but it also clamps so much better than any other type of clamp that you would possibly be able to put on. Because this will give you that 360 degree seal. You won't have a flat spot you got to contend with. So absolutely wrap our ends around our, our, our pins there and then we just twist those two together. OK, and then make sure you're in the loop and you start to tighten it up. Now we're not twisting the wire, so it's not going to snap on us. We're just nice, even pressure all the way around. So we start to feel it getting snugged up. Takes a minute on your hose. Yep, there we go. And you tighten it up. So when we finally get it to where it's tight, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it, we're gonna flip it over, just like that. Back the tool off. About a quarter inch or so in our tabs. Press those tabs in just like that. Absolutely. 
And the really good thing with this on the Gates clamps, you can actually put a clamp right over top of it, your heat shrink, and put it over so you don't even see our clamp. Even even though the clamp looks really nice, but if you want that type of finish, or maybe you've got a car that you're worried about being judged on by using, you can still use the clamp tight, and it's so low profile, you can still slide the old style clamp right over the top of it, and it's absolutely perfect. Find out how you can get a clamp tight tool. Just hop on their website at clamptighttools.com. Everybody. Welcome to this week's Evaporus question and answer session. We've got just one question this week, but it's a good one. It's from Robert. He says, hello, can your Evaporus be used on car body panels? Will there be any paint adhesion problems? Problem that people have a lot. And when you have a part that's too big to soak, like a car body panel, we have two methods that we recommend and we've covered them in past episodes. One of them it, for smaller areas is going to be to take paper towels, good flat paper towels, soak them in evapor rust, lay them over the rusty area, and then cover them with plastic. Let them sit overnight. If you need to hold that in place, a lot of times a magnet is a real good thing to hold all that in place. Just let it sit there like a band-aid overnight. Pull it off the next day, go over it with a wet terry cloth towel. The rust will be gone. Wipe it down, dry it, spray it with rust block or paint it, whatever you're ready to do. The other method is for really large items like frames, things like that, you want to make a recirculating pump system where you pump a vapor rust through a shower head. Doesn't have to be high pressure, low pressure is fine. Spray it up there, let it hit the uh, rusted area, drain it back down. We catch it in plastic sheets and let it drain back into the container where it's repumped. So you've got a circulating pump that goes around and around and let that go for five or six hours. Check it. When it's done, move it to the next section, and then you can do a large area without having to dip a huge part. It really does a great job, and it saves a lot of time and money. Thank you for visiting with us this week. If you have any other questions, visit our website. Well, Joe, that's all the time we have this week on Performance TV. And if you'd like to see your product on television, email Jeff at masterstv.com. And we'll see you next time around for more of Performance TV.